Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show we're taking a look at the Ghostbusters 2 geared up Lewis Tully action figure. So as you can see, here's Lewis Tully from Ghostbusters 2, all geared up in Egon Spangler's uniform, complete with proton pack, proton stream, and a pair of hands. Let's go ahead and turn it around and take a look at the back. This comes in the same line as the Ray with the uh, Santa hat on that I uh, did a review on uh, over a little over a year or so ago. Um, and Vigo the Carpathian. I still have to get Vigo. But uh, got Lewis Tully here. I do plan on getting the rest of the line eventually. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time though. This, of course, is from Diamond Select, Sony, Ghostbusters, and Comic Shop Locator Service. And it says here on the package, let's go ahead and bring it forward. A tax lawyer by trade, Louis Tully was at the center of the 1984 Gozer incursion and was briefly possessed by Gozer's minion, assuming the form of a terror dog until freed by the Ghostbusters. Tully owed a debt to the group and agreed to represent them in a case brought against them by the city of New York, and helped get their license reinstated. After assisting around the office in a legal capacity, Tully was driven to gear up after hearing that his friends had become trapped by a malevolent spirit. This seven-inch scale action figure is based on the 1989 feature film Ghostbusters 2, and features multiple points of articulation, sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. Now let's go ahead and open the package up. Uh, first, I want to mention, this is part of Ghostbusters Series 6. You can see the Ghostbusters 2 logo there. Now let's go ahead and open them up and take a look at the figure. Boy, I tell you, Diamond Select did not want anyone getting Lewis Tully out of that package. He was <laughs> tied up, bound up, everything else to the plastic. But first and foremost, inside the package, we've got this little mailer catalog ghostbusters licensed product from diamond select toys for more information or order or to order product visit diamondselecttoys.com art by art asylum ghostbusters select action figures with rooftop diorama parts vinnie mates mini mates ghostbusters 2011 I love this town box set. There we have an order form there. There we got the 11 inch Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, 24 inch Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, Slimer Bank, uh, logo pizza cutter, logo. Op Sorry about that, guys. Logo opener, 11 inch toasted Stay Puft, Stay Puft opener, logo silicon tray, Slimer gelatin mold. Pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Lewis Tully. So here he is, guys. Lewis Tully from Ghostbusters 2, geared up. He does come with a radio, which goes right there. He also comes with a pair of interchangeable hands for holding on to the proton wand. And he comes with a proton stream. So any, uh, he also comes with a base to stand on, which I, I don't think my uh, Ray came with. Um, if he would have, I want to think that it would have really kept him from falling over, falling to the ground when we moved into the new house and breaking his heel off. Um, but sadly, I don't think he did. I will have to check on that. Um, but his glasses are non-removable. He comes with the earmuffs on. Uh, he comes with a utility belt uh, with the removable radio. Uh, the utility belt... 
seems like it's it could be removable but you'd have to be very careful doing it um also the hose is connected to the back of the utility belt right there the proton pack can be removed let's go ahead and take that off uh you can hang the proton wand right there on the proton pack it does take a little bit just like that but the detail on the proton pack is very nice they even included the uh the cable very cool this is something you don't see on the um Maddie Collector Proton Packs, really. I mean, they may be sculpted in, but it's flat. Um, I forget what this part is called. <laughs> the rest of you who have built your own Proton Pack may know what this is called. I've forgotten. I've had, I'm having been a brain fart. But uh, anyway, the details on him is really good. Aside from the face sculpt, he doesn't really look a whole lot like Rick Moranis. Um, as you can see, he is wearing the Spangler uniform. Um, maybe the proton pack isn't removable because of the front strap here. Uh, I think if you were to try to remove it, you would probably break the strap. So we're not even going to risk that. But anyway, articulation, the elbow pads, as you saw earlier, do rotate around. And does he... Ah, there we go. He does have a very tight elbow joint, as you can see. His arm is on a slight ball joint and hinge. It can rotate all the way around, whatnot. Um, but very tight hinge. Uh, his hand is on a hinge and a ball joint. Well, yeah, ball, a peg, basically. And let's go ahead and remove the hand. Just pegs in, just like that. Same with the other side. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that so that he can hold his proton wand. As you can see, it's just a peg. Now, the thing is with these hands is they are not on a hinge like these. Uh, maybe a slight, let me see, uh, a slight hinge. Now, as for the head, it is on a ball joint, it can... Swivel back and forth, look up, look down, rotate, all, turn all the way around. You have an ab crunch here. You have, is there a waist swivel? Yes, there is a waist swivel. It's just very tight though. Uh, mostly you'll have to turn him from the ab crunch. I am not sure why... They painted this hinge black and left this one gray. Um, maybe some quality control issues there. Uh, but you have a thigh swivel. The legs can go up about that far because of the utility belt. They can go out. You do have a double 
double knee joint. Be very careful. It is very tight. Uh, I'm not even going to risk trying that one until I heat it up a little bit. Um, but you also have an ankle rocker and tilt. Very cool. Now let's go. Oh, there's paint kind of chipping off or whatever. Um, then to put his proton wand in his hand. Hold tight a second, guys. I'm right here with you guys. <laughs> Lewis Tully's famous line from the end of Ghostbusters 2. Uh, the paint, it, it's a little foggy around the uh, neck of the t-shirt. But other than that, it's nice. Um, the only problem I really see is with the paint fl uh, flagging off. But overall, it's a very nice sculpt. They could have done his face a little bit better to resemble Rick Moranis a little bit more. And to paint the proton stream in. It just goes on there just like that. And you've got the proton stream. So there you have it, guys. Ghostbusters 2. Go ahead and check out one of these two comments on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon from Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.